As students doing research, you're going to come across a wide variety of sources. It's really important to take a look at the characteristics and attributes of these different sources to have a better idea of how relevant the resource might be to your research. Today I'm going to show you examples of popular, professional, and academic resources. Once you have an idea of what they're like, you should be able to use them more effectively in your research. First, let's take a look at a popular resource. Now, I'm doing a little research about reading in America, and I came across this article from Time Magazine. One thing to keep in mind as we look at this article is that it is written by reporters. They take a complex topic and they break it down for the general public and make it more easily understandable. Now, just by looking at the layout of the article, you'll notice one of the key features of any popular resource. It is filled with prominent and eye-catching advertisements. You'll also notice on this page that we have links to other articles as well as sponsored links. Now as we take a look at the actual article, you'll notice that the language is fairly easy to read. It is not filled with technical language. If technical language is used, it's often defined. Also, it's very helpful when you look at an article to look at the very beginning of it and the very end. If we look at the beginning of this article, you'll notice that all we have is a title, a date, and the names of the authors. There's no credentials given. Now let's take a look at the end of the article. You'll notice at the end of this article, all we have are additional credits. The authors don't explicitly list any sources for their information, like a reference list. To actually find out where the authors got their information, we have to go through the article and look for the hints and clues they give us. This is one of the key ways to determine if something is scholarly versus popular or even professional. Now let's take a look at the other examples. Next, we're going to take a look at a professional magazine article. But what do I mean by professional? Well, professional resources are items that target a particular audience, usually practitioners and experts in a professional field. This article is from NEA Today, the National Education Association's professional magazine. The tricky thing, though, with any professional resource is that oftentimes it looks very much like a popular one. You'll notice that this article has bright, engaging pictures. It uses multiple fonts and font colors, as well as includes graphics and additional pictures, as well as an attractive layout. But one thing to keep in mind as you start to go through the article and read the contents of it is that you'll notice it is filled with more technical language, including references to organizations, concepts, and people that the general public may not be familiar with. You'll also notice that they do highlight more research. As well, the article is filled with more anecdotal information. You'll notice this page has lots of quotes from a variety of practitioners in the field. Professional articles are a great place to go if you want to get the perspective of various people working in the field that you're researching. But if you really want to get your hands dirty in the details, you'll want to start to look at academic resources. Last, let's take a look at a scholarly and academic resource. Now, an academic article like this one from the Journal of Instructional Psychology is a place where researchers and scholars are able to present their research findings. You'll notice with the layout of this article that the presentation is very simplified. There's nothing really eye-catching about it. Also, on the very first page, we have additional information given about the authors. Academic sources attempt to provide as much background information to give context to the research. Now as we start to look through the article, you'll notice that the language is rather dense, filled much more with technical language, as well as references to past research, statistical information, and you're more likely to find graphs and charts in an academic article than you would eye-catching and colorful pictures. If we head to the end of the article, the author provides a long list of references so the reader can understand all the different sources of information the author used. The reference list is one of the best ways to know if something is academic versus popular or even professional. 
academic resources are a great place to get your hands really dirty in the details when you want to go really in depth in a topic. As you're researching, you'll probably come across academic, professional, and popular resources one right after the other. Each one of these items has unique characteristics that make them valuable for different reasons. As you start to research, see if you can tell the difference between academic resources, professional resources, and popular ones.